I'm back. Rojance for Black and White Entertainment. We're going to talk about Lucasfilm going suspiciously zero dark 30 on social media. Yeah, they've been pretty damn quiet ever since they uh, introduced the uh, non-binary Bopsy twins a while back. And uh, we're going to go over an article from piratesandprincesses.net. I really like this damn website. Uh, so, if you hadn't checked it out, go check it out. And speaking of websites, if you have not checked out blackandwhitenetwork.com, make sure that you do so. We've got exclusive content, joint videos. There's a video going up later today. Myself and John Matrix will take on the cancellation of Sylvester Stallone for having joined Marlargo. Utterly ridiculous, no holds barred over there. Uh, Silver members will get exclusive access to be able to come on member live streams and hang out with myself and John Matrix. And there will be exclusive videos for all members, bronze and silver, and exclusive live streams for bronze and silver members. Uh, So make sure you go over and check that out, blackandwhitenetwork.com. Yeah, and also I'm wearing our black and white network t-shirt. Pick it out of the merch store. Give you 15% off promo code. Gina rocks, all one word. Let's check out this article. Lucasfilm hasn't used Star Wars Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram accounts in over a week. What is up with that? Oh, there's the non-binary Bopsy twins from the High Republic. Absolutely disgusting. That was the last post on Instagram from Lucasfilm. Today was Daisy Ridley's birthday. Many on Twitter were wishing Ray, the Ray actress, a happy birthday. I was not among them. But the official Star Wars Twitter account was silent. Yesterday, Hasbro announced a slew of new Star Wars action figures as part of their FanFest 2021 event, but the official Star Wars Twitter account was silent. In fact, the official U.S. United States Twitter account hasn't posted anything since Thursday, April 1st. The last post was an announcement of a Star Wars version of The Odyssey. And I guess that is the last thing they put up. Picture Darth and Luke going at it. By contrast, the UK account did post something two days ago. Uh, General Kenobi, something from the Clone Wars. So what's going on here? Other Lucasfilm run Star Wars social accounts have been suspiciously silent, including Facebook and Instagram. Both of them stopped posting approximately at the same time as the Star Wars Twitter account. As of writing this article, the last Instagram post was on March 31st. The last Facebook post was identical to the Twitter post on April 1. There is the High Republic. This uh, Nobody gives a shit about the High Republic. As you can see here, here is a couple of Last Jedi fans. Yeah. Uh, in honor of Trans Day of Visibility. Thank goodness, Star Wars. Something involved with children that children do consume by in a large amount is concerned with anything like this. The Star Wars YouTube channel continues to post content, and as you can expect, they're getting downvoted straight to hell. The StarWars.com blog has been fairly active. Is it possible that whoever post uh, is in charge of these posts is simply taking a break, or Lucasfilm didn't feel it had much to post? But and and they point this out. Normally, when you have actors' birthdays, they actually do sort of talk about that stuff, and they didn't retweet the Hasbro announcement. It says now Disney was reportedly looking to hire a new social media manager. I believe Drunk Three PO applied for that for Star Wars, but that was several months ago. You'd think that position was filled by now, or was it, and it didn't go well. Remember, it was a couple of months ago that Christina Ariel, boy, that was a situation that got ugly, exploded with a Twitter, Star Wars Twitter post throwing gasoline on the fire, 
And the Star Wars Twitter account was called out for ignoring birthdays of actors like James Earl Jones while celebrating others. I believe James Earl Jones is a conservative. Perhaps, perhaps, a higher up at Disney wasn't happy with how Star Wars social media was being handled. Lucasfilm and Lucasfilm is already looking for a replacement. And of course, we could talk about a lot of tin full hat theories. So what do we think? I do think that's awfully odd. Sometimes when things like that happens, that means there might be a change. There might be a change brewing somewhere with something. Uh, all I do know is I believe we are coming up on around two to three months from now when we will know whether or not for absolute sure that Kathleen Kennedy is going to remain and keep her gig. Bob Chapik seems to think she was keeping her gig, or that's what he said. But let's face it, a lot of times when there's going to be a change, they're not going to come out and say it, right? It's kind of like sports teams, general managers, the NFL draft is coming up, and they call this lying season in the NFL because everybody's lying. Well, they do that in Hollywood too, the higher-ups. And Bob Chapik and Bob Iger aren't going to come out and say, yeah, in two months, Kathleen Kennedy's, her ass is toast. Tell me what you think, black and white entertainment fans. Do you have theories as to why they would have went completely silent? Is it because there's a change brewing at Lucasfilm? Would they go silent if they are replacing somebody as high up as Kathleen Kennedy, the Lucasfilm president? I don't know that that would happen. They just hired uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge or whatever the hell her name is for Indiana Jones. That's a blatant Kathleen Kennedy hire. But it look, it's, let's be honest. The John Favreau, Dave Filoni properties are doing great. And anything that uh, Kathleen Kennedy touches is a dumpster fire. What else can you say? Peace. I'm out till next time.